Our next speaker is Kirsten Shaw. Throughout the quarter, we have heard Kirsten speak on the topic of cyberbullying, and she has shared with us about the relationship she has with her brother. We have also learned that she loves to eat ice, and that if she only had one day left to live, she would spend her time with her family. Kirsten first became interested in pica after she received the Ice Eater Award in speech class and learned that one of the symptoms of pica is eating a lot of ice. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kirsten Shaw. <laughs> Imagine you are eating the crazy candy known as Pop Rocks. Now imagine those Pop Rocks are now just regular rocks. This crazy phenomenon is known as pica. We will be looking at what pica is, the causes of pica, the complications that can occur, and the treatment options that are available. Pica is a mental health disorder. According to Medline Plus from nlm.nih.gov in a medical journal published in 2012, Pica is a pattern of eating non-food materials. This pattern of eating must last for at least one month to fully match the definition of pica. As stated by the aforementioned, pica is seen more in young children than adults. Between 10%, which is represented right here, and 32%, which is this whole chunk of children ages 1 to 6, have pica. As mentioned by WebMD in their website updated in 2013, approximately 4% to 26% of people in mental institutions have PICA. PICA usually is accompanied by another mental health disorder. WebMD states that the institutionalized population usually will eat anything they have access to. Things such as animal feces, clay, dirt, hairballs, ice, paint, and sand are common substances people with PICA will consume. Now that we have looked at what pica is, we will look at the causes of pica. Pica can occur from many different things. According to Kids Health, in an article found on their website, kidshealth.org, copyrighted in 2013, the specific cause of pica is unknown, but certain conditions can raise the risk for pica. <coughs> Nutritional deficiencies can cause specific cravings. These non-food cravings do not supply the minerals one is lacking. As found on MindDisorders.com, a website specializing in psychological illnesses, they published an article on PICA in 2012 stating that the malnutrition can be a leading factor with PICA. This is mainly in poor countries where people are forced to eat clay. Also mentioned by Kids Health, other mental health disorders can play a role in the development of PICA. Common mental health illnesses that are associated with PICA are OCD and schizophrenia. According to AmericanPregnancy.org, which is a website specializing in pregnancies that copyrighted an article in January of 2013, pregnancy can have the risk of developing pica. They believe this is due to women feeling as though they need more minerals than they are getting with normal food consumption. The pica cravings allow the pregnant woman to feel as though she has all of her nutrients. Now that we have looked at a few of the probable causes for pica, we will look at a few of the complications that can result from because pica is the act of eating non-food substances, many complications can occur if not treated. According to WebMD, certain items like paint chips may contain lead or other toxic substances. This can result in the person developing lead poisoning. These toxic substances can also increase one's risk of developing learning disabilities and suffering from brain damage. Also seen in the WebMD article, pica can interfere with the consumption of healthy food. This interferes with the person's nutrition, which can lead to nutritional deficiencies. As stated in an article on Medline Plus, pica can cause digestive problems. This includes constipation and intestinal blockages. Sharp objects can also result in the tear of the intestinal lining. The aforementioned also states that certain non-food items can also cause a person to develop parasites, which can lead to a horrendous infection. Now that we have looked at some of the complications that can occur from pica, we will look at a few treatment options that are available. Pica can be a very difficult disorder to handle. There are a few options for people with pica. According to Terry Gerdes, doctor of psychiatry, she stated in a personal interview on May 6, 2013, that mild aversion therapy tends to show good results. This involves negative consequences for the pica behavior and positive reinforcement for eating normal food. This will only work if the family is fully on board with the plan because the person suffering from pica will need to be monitored. 
As found in the article on Medline Plus, medications can help with pica. Medications are only known for reducing the pica eating. It does not fully eliminate pica altogether. We first looked at what pica is, second, the cause of pica, third, the complications that can occur, and finally, we looked at the treatment options that are available. Now we all have a basis of knowledge on this disorder known as pica. Next time you are enjoying the famous candy known as Pop Rocks, you better double check to make sure that you are actually eating the candy and not little pebbles. <laughs>